Two of my picks got acquired in just one week. I did a video on my top 7 picks on 4th September. A few days later, Atlantic Navigation announced it is selling 20 offshore vessels. This is selling almost the entire company. Two days later, Dynamite was offered 60 cents. Wow, I was right. Do check out the video on the remaining 5 picks. When I did Atlantic Navigation in May, my thesis was that it was cheap and would be sold, which happened. I did the most number of videos on Dynamite, a total of 5 since from November last year. I've been very bullish about its turnaround and later its growth and potential. Unfortunately, the offer sucks. Atlantic Navigation is selling all its vessels for a value of 30 cents since a share. Dynamite is offered 60 cents, which was the previous high before the pullback. It's frustrating to see this great company so cheap. What should we do with these two companies? What does it mean for the oil and gas sector? Stay on. Before we continue, the usual disclaimer. The two shareholders owning almost 90% of Atlantic are old. They are in their 70s. What remains is the small shipyard which contributes 6.6% of total revenue in 2023. It's used mainly to support the repair and maintenance of its vessel fleet. Upside is limited. This is a done deal. Sell and use the fund for other opportunity. 60 cents is on the low side for Dynamite. Both OCBC and Maybank advise the investor to hold out. The buyer intend to have management control and realize the synergy between Dynamic and the group. The offer is subjected to a minimum of 50% acceptance. If more than 90% accept the offer, they will delist the company. So if they get more than 50% and less than 90%, Dynamic may still stay listed. Dynamic is appointing an independent financial advisor. I will just hold on to my share. Anyway, the minimum is 60 cents. Hope Dynamic will continue to stay listed for us to enjoy the upside. Yes, they are disappointing as the offer are low. On a positive note, this show good value among the listed company here and interested buyer are hunting for them. They are treasures. This validates that my investing approach is right in finding good values and hidden gem. We should continue to look for resilient company, those that keep building their capability, business and financials. They are enjoying the tailwinds and also building competitive strength. Many are expanding beyond the usual oil and gas sector to have a more sustainable business. They are also strengthening their balance sheet to build up a cash position and a good cash flow. This is how I see the various oil and gas companies. My investing thesis are different for different oil and gas stocks. Marco Polo and Nam Chong are in the vessel chartering business. Marco Polo is more focused on offshore wind energy. Nam Chong is about their turnaround and being cheap. I hope they do a listing in Malaysia for higher valuation. Citrum is still in the early stage of turning around with a strong order book. Ben Kwan is about leaving the S-Jack watch list and a possible play on their warrants. Yang Zichang is a high quality company doing well. They have a strong order book and a strong balance sheet. Few would associate Union Steel as an oil and gas play. They have been buying companies to build up their capability to diversify from their metals and scaffolding business. Watch my video about them and the top 7 pick for detail. If you want to stay ahead and discover the next hidden gem, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching.